Most people come to cemeteries to pay their respects. Other people come here for peace and quiet, but I'm here for something way more dangerous that's lurking between the tombstones in the cemetery. The cicada killer wasp, the largest wasp in North America. And today, I'm gonna catch one, and I'm gonna make it sting me. Check this out, I just found a cicada, and that's a really good sign because obviously, cicada killer wasps hunt these insects non-stop. And I love the sounds that they make. Most people don't, but I think it's awesome. Now, cicadas are fascinating. They live underground for 17 years, and this is what they look like when they come out of the ground. They actually have like little crab claws, and then they go through a transformation where they lose their claws, and then they get a set of wings. Not a bad deal, but don't worry. They can't sting or bite. They're completely safe to handle, but I'm going to go ahead, let him go, and I'm going to keep searching for these giant wasps. Nothing to see here, just a small pile of sticks climbing this tree. Nothing weird about that. I'm so excited I found this. This is actually a bagworm. They are amazing because they build these protective bags out of sticks and silk, which they carry around on their back to use as protection and camouflage. And it works great because I wouldn't have noticed him at all if I didn't literally see him crawling up the tree. Wow, I can't believe this. I finally found all their nests. After searching the cemetery for almost an hour, there's hundreds of nests all around me. I've never seen anything like this. This is wild. I cannot believe there's this many cicada killer wasps flying all around me right now. I wonder why they picked this corner of the cemetery to build all their nests together. Because these wasps usually live alone. This is not normal seeing so many of them living together or next to each other. Because if you look at each pile of dirt, that is one nest made for one female wasp. They do not live together. This is amazing. I just found a female cicada killer wasp digging her nest. Now, I don't think that their nests go that deep. So I don't think that they're digging down to the people in these graves. Well, at least I hope not. Now, female cicada killer wasps build surprisingly complex underground nests. So they make this main tunnel that's about four feet long. And off the main passage, she carves out side chambers and each one becomes a nursery for her young. And over time, it starts to look like a little underground city. So this is a male. They find places to sit and watch the nest and they're half the size of the females and they will dive at you over and over again, making really loud buzzing noises to try to chase you away. But it's all bluff because the males cannot sting. Only the females have the ability to sting you. Wow, I can't believe this. I didn't think I would get to see this. So this is a female wasp. She has caught a cicada and she's stinging it over and over, but not to kill it, but to paralyze it, freezing it in place like a living time capsule. And now she has to carry the cicada down into her tunnels that she made. Now after she gets the cicada down into these dark chambers underground, she lays an egg on top of the cicada. And when the larva hatches, there's living food waiting for them. This is meat that won't rot because the cicada is still alive. It's just frozen. And this is a perfect meal for her offspring. So I just caught a female wasp and she is not happy at all. And look at the size of those chompers. That's exactly why I'm holding her this way so she can only bite at my thumbnail and not get a hold of my flesh. And yes, she is stinging me right now. She's lighting me up. If you look at this angle, you can see. And it does hurt a little bit, but surprisingly, with these wasps being so big, their sting actually feels just like a normal bee sting. Now that she has finally calmed down and has stopped trying to sting me, I can hold her and let her walk around on my hand. And the only reason she was stinging me was because I was holding her down. They do not want any problems with people, I promise you. I have spent a lot of time with them studying everything they do, and they never try to sting me, even when I'm messing with their nest. So the only way a cicada killer wasp 
is going to sting someone is if one, they step on them and they hurt them, or two, they grab them up like I did. But other than that, these wasps are not going to sting anyone. Now to prove to you that the last thing that they want to do is to sting you, I'm going to put a wasp inside my mouth. Do not try this. So I've taught you everything I know about these wasps. I've showed you they're not aggressive and that the last thing that they want to do is sting anyone. But that doesn't mean that you pick them up. It doesn't mean that you put them in your mouth. I am a trained professional. Do not do any of the things that you see in this video. I've worked with wildlife my entire life. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next adventure.